Howdy friends, Leah Fiore here. I just wanted to come on and talk to you about something that I've been wrestling with a lot lately. It's just really heavy on my heart and I felt like I would um, come on and just talk to you guys about it. So the more I research different things coming into the church, the more I see false teachers and people being enthralled by what they say, there's a common theme that runs through them. The false religions and harmful ideologies, it all funnels through something that is really going back to the first lie. Did God really say, and you can know and be like God? Both statements look to self, one for an answer instead of God, and two to be more grand and like him. So what I want to talk to you about is the human obsession with self. Over and over again, I see preachers speaking from the pulpit about how you can expect blessings and abundance, Bible studies that are more about you or the person who wrote it than about studying the actual Bible or learning about the Lord. We have people that are so experience-based that their experience trumps what the Bible says, and they're willing to disregard scripture because their experience tells them differently. It's really dangerous. People are so stuck on themselves that they have to take tests to learn more about themselves, complain to no end about not getting enough time for them, and do everything they can to not have to care about doing for others because life's too stressful and they just can't be bothered with anything but themselves. We have parents who are rejoicing when their kids leave and go to school because they don't know what they would do if they stayed home, and people following their heart and feelings instead of being led by the word, which is what we're supposed to be doing. Luke 9, 23 through 25 says, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit their very self? I love it because my pastor just spoke on this, and it perfectly fits into the stuff that's going on in the world right now. It says we must die, deny ourselves and take up our cross daily and follow Christ. It isn't, well, maybe you should or would you. It's you must, and we must do it daily. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. If we've been crucified with Christ, and we live for him, we're no longer slaves to our flesh, and are supposed to be heavenly minded, keep our eyes on Jesus and not the world. The Bible doesn't say we should live for ourselves. It doesn't say we should love ourselves first to love others better. It says love God first, love others as well as we love ourselves. We don't need help looking out for our own interests. We need to care about other people like we care about ourselves. The more focused people are inwardly, the more unhappy they tend to be, the more miserable they are. When people fo focus outwardly on the other people and living for God, the happier and more content they seem to be. I mean, it's just across the board. Um, I know that's how it is for me. Now, I'm not saying don't take care of yourself or that you should hate yourself. I'm simply saying that our main focus shouldn't be on us and our comfort. There's just so much focus on self. My heart is really, really heavy, y'all. Just, I'm having a hard time with this one. The selfishness is just real. I look at all these things and all I can think is God deserves so much better. He deserves a reverence that is really hard to find. Not that no one loves him, but man, it's much easier to be self-absorbed. We have a whole generation that's seeking self and rejecting God. So many people making themselves to be God, striving to be God, or equating themselves with God. We, have, we make horrible gods. I mean, I know I do. Look at the world around you. We need to get into our Bibles and study. Like, really, really study. 
We need to sit in prayer and just glorify God. He deserves it. We don't deserve the glory and we don't deserve all the attention or the credit. Just get on your face before the Lord. Prostrate yourself before him. I hope you all have a blessed day. Love you, friends.